Hey everyone, welcome to the last week of our series, Belong. In this series, we're talking about belonging and we all desire to belong to a group or a team. It's human nature. In the first week of our series, we visualized a cafeteria with all the different tables of students and groups. It's always busy and loud, but it's full of life. And if you don't feel like you have a group you belong to, it can feel really lonely. Maybe you're the one who goes and sits with others to help them belong. That's a gift. And when you help others belong, you're showing the love of God to them. You're living out Jesus's command, which we find in our memory verse. Let's look at it together. Matthew 22 verses 37 through 39. Jesus replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. When we love our neighbors, we are sharing the love of God and we're helping others belong. That's part of how we live out our faith in God. And maybe you haven't made Jesus the leader of your life and you're wondering why it's important that we have faith in God and share that. Today, I want you to remember this one thing. Our faith helps others belong. When we help others belong, like in the cafeteria, it feels good. It's fulfilling and it helps us understand our purpose. Not only is it great for us to help others, but it helps others belong and that is so important. When we become followers of Jesus, we become part of his family. And God's plan for his family is to spend time together in fellowship. And we get to remember that God is always with us. We're really never alone. So how do you and I use our faith to help others belong. Number one, lead the way in belonging. I want you to think if, you, if you're on a hike and you're leading the way to a beautiful destination, you need to know the way. You don't wanna get halfway down the trail and have your group start questioning if you know the way. You wanna know the way so that you can effectively lead the way. And that's true for your faith and helping others belong. When you're leading the way to help others belong to the body of Christ, you need to know the way. You can't lead other people somewhere that you haven't been yourself. So to help others find a relationship with Jesus, you have to first have a relationship with him yourself. One of the best ways that we can help lead the way to belonging is by showing others the love of God through our actions and our words. You never know who is feeling lonely, so show love to everyone. Today's Bible story is about some men leading the way to help another person belong and to get the help that he needed. We can find that story in Luke chapter five. Let's look at it together. One day while Jesus was teaching, some Pharisees and teachers of religious law were sitting nearby. It seemed that these men showed up from every village in all of Galilee and Judea, as well as from Jerusalem. And the Lord's healing power was strongly with Jesus. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a sleeping mat. They tried to take him inside to Jesus, but they couldn't reach him because of the crowd. So they went up to the roof and took off some tiles. Then they lowered the sick man on his mat down into the crowd, right in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the man, young man, your sins are forgiven. These guys were able to help their friend belong to Jesus because of their own faith journey. They saw someone who needed help and they knew exactly who to take him to to get help. Jesus. They had faith in Jesus and knew that Jesus could heal him. They have to have a lot of faith in Jesus to carry this man up to the roof. And we even see that because of their faith, Jesus heals the man and forgives him of his sins. They had to lead the way. This story was written in the Bible so that you and I could learn to lead the way. When you hear your friends laughing at or making fun of someone, you be the one to be different and say kind things. If you see someone who is alone, you can be the one to go out and reach out to them. Be different. Live out 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11. So encourage each other and build each other up just as you are already doing. Remember, our faith helps others belong. So how do we use our faith to help others belong? Well, we start by leading the way to belonging. And number two, we take others on the journey. Taking others on the journey of becoming a follower of Jesus and helping them belong is not always easy or convenient. The guys in our story literally carried a man up to a roof. They had incredible faith to get him healed by Jesus. And this is just like how reaching out to others who might be lonely or uh, being different from your friends by showing kindness might not be easy to do. 
And as followers of Jesus, we're not alone when we help others belong. We have a huge family that encourages us and builds us up. And not only that, but uh, our family goes with us and helps us, our church family. When, when we look at that story, we don't see one man carrying the paralyzed up on the roof. Uh, it's a group of men and it's men who are serving together and who are showing God's love. Now let's go back to the story. I want you to see how some of the people responded to Jesus. But the Pharisees and teachers of religious law said to themselves, who does he think he is? That's blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew what they were thinking, so he asked them, why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easier to say your sins are forgiven or stand up and walk? So I will prove to you that the Son of Man has the authority on earth to forgive sins. And then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, stand up, pick up your mat and go home. And immediately, as everyone watched, the man jumped up, picked up his mat, and went home praising God. You see, Jesus rose against the opposition. The Pharisees questioned him. And sometimes people can question us. As followers of Jesus, we have to remember that Jesus helps us and guides us. And we can show love and kindness through our actions and through our words. But we also have to let Jesus do the rest. The men brought that paralyzed man to Jesus and they let Jesus do the rest. And because of their faith, Jesus healed him. You have the opportunity to help others belong. Your faith in God can change lives. You can show kindness and love and serve others and show love through your actions and words and being different. And as you show love, remember to allow God to work in others' hearts. You can't change someone's heart. Only God can do that. But you can show others what it means to belong. You can lead the way and show them. So this week, commit to being different and commit to helping others find a place to belong.